Hello friends. Well here we are. Welcome back to Hook Setting Adventures Fishing with Pudding. Here's the mission today. I'm gonna put that kayak in that pond. This is the bass hole. And today I'm hoping to hook in to the uh, bass hole monster again. Uh, once I since I've hooked him, it's uh, my mission in life to actually put my hands on him. So we're gonna see what we can come up with. It's not too bad, it's a little windy, but not terrible. Yesterday was, uh, it was down in the 60s. Today it's uh, warmed up a little bit, it's back up into the 70s, I think. But uh, barometric pressure is around 30 inches. We'll see what we can get into. Got my, got my little buddy Scooter with me. He's gonna hang up here in the shade and uh, keep watch over me while I'm in the water. So anyway, let's go fishing. Let's get this ball, this party started. It's just been too slow for me this morning. I'm going to find out what they're on today. All right, fish on, fish on. Oh, that's a big one too. This one is good. Oh! Well, there we go. Of course, the battery died when I'm bringing him in, but he got on this on this chatterbait. But good. It wasn't as as big as I thought he was the way he was fighting. Well, he's a couple of pounds, I think. Two point three. Okay. Looks like he's a little beat up. Gave me a really good fight on that chatterbait. Let's go back in there and grow up some. Well, friends, that took a long time to get that one in. Not that it took a long time to actually land him, but I've been out here for a long time fishing. But hey, that's part of it. Can't go, uh, can't go out fishing every time like it's the fish market. Sometimes you just have to put in the time. I tell you what, this is a windy, windy day. Fish on. Come here. Oh, go. Oh. Loosened up the drag a little while ago. And he's taking advantage of it. 
Oh, yeah, I'll always keep you tight here. There we go. You ain't getting away. No, you're not. Well, he just all upset. It's got some good weight to it. Ugh. Unhooked himself. Oh, this is a this is a tank right here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see where you are. Weight wise. Two point four pounds. Not bad. Well, he was livelier than livelier than I thought he was. While I was trying to revive him, he just took off on me. So you didn't get to see the release, but you did get to see me catch him. And he came to me on this bandito bug. Fish on. Oh. Come here, big boy. There we go. Oh, I like it when a plan comes together. Come on up here. Not as big as your your buddy's there, but you got yourself hooked, but good. Going through that gill plate. He just wanted this chatterbait. And there was no convincing him otherwise. But that's just fine because that's why I'm here. So we can muscle this thing out. There we go. Definitely gave him a sore lip. Yeah, he's not as big as the other. Let's see what he is. 1.8. 1.8 will do. All right, well, you're a pretty one. Going back in there and grow up some. Okay, he's back in, and I'm ready to get back in too. Yeah, he came on this uh, this chatterbait. I've got a, a Mr. Ribbit trailer on it, and he was right up on that bank there when I laid that crankbait. right up there on the edge of that of that grass right there at the edge of the pond he jumped on it and when he got on it he was ready like i said he uh ran that hook through his gill plate man that was hard getting back getting that hook back out okay friends I'm gonna call it a day and it was a decent day at that those uh, those three bass when I finally started catching them they were good bass the uh, first two especially they're well over two pounds one uh, 
one's closer to two and a half, but uh, they were fighting they, like they were 50. And so, you know, getting the, the, the yak down to the water here at the bass hole is no problem. Getting back up, I think I have to go twice as far. It feels like, it feels like it. Oh, it done wore me out. Did it wear you out, Scooter? Well, anyway, thanks for coming with me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me catch the fish as much as I enjoy catching those fish. And uh, I will, I do have to report that I uh, didn't get hit by the, the uh, bass hole monster. But I'm going to keep on until I finally put him inside the yak. I'm uh, still waiting on some suggestions on uh, what to name it, so be sure to leave your comments down there on what you think I should name this yak. Thanks again for coming with me. This is Hook Setting Adventures, fishing with Puddin' and Scooter on the high, side of Highway 17 here at the Bass Hole. Oh, and be sure to join me again next time. I plan on taking this yak over to uh, Conway and put it in the in that creek over there along their uh, their uh, greenway to see what's in there. It looks like real good water, and Conway's not too far away. So, again, stay tuned for next time.